When I was 15, my dad bought me a 1970 Volkswagen Beetle convertible. Over the course of three to four years throughout high school, I spent every morning, every night after school, sanding on it, grinding on it, cutting it up, thinking I knew what I was doing to restore that car. My name's Jeffrey Bowen. I'm one of the owners here at the GR Auto Gallery. I remember probably my, one of my first memories of, of cars is when I was very young, viewing slides on, the, on a slide screen with my family. And there's one picture that I remember that always came up. And in the background, there was a 67 Chevelle Supersport. My name is John Hookstra, and I'm an owner at GR Auto Gallery. My excitement for the car business started when I had a young age when my dad had a 1950 Ford Crestliner with glass packs. My dad always had some fun cars around the house that uh, kind of fueled my passion for the car business. My name is Christopher Hooksom, one of the owners at GR Auto Gallery. So I remember the day my dad and I went and we uh, went to look at this Volkswagen Beetle convertible and it was a pile but we were both so excited. Um, I wouldn't consider my dad a car guy at all. Uh, he would play with a couple cars, but I didn't grow up around cars. Uh, we didn't have muscle cars in the driveway, but we both had great excitement for this Volkswagen Beetle. You know, I think that experience with that Volkswagen really gave me the passion for vehicles I have today. I absolutely love the air-cooled 911s right up until 1998. And I think it's that Volkswagen Beetle that kind of gave me the love for that 911. I really feel in a lot of ways it's as simple as a Volkswagen Beetle. It's pure, it's kind of crude, and simplistic. Over the years here at the GR Auto Gallery, we've probably sold four to 500 air cools. We'd have every color, option, configuration, hard top, soft top, target top roll through here over the years. Driving a 911 is Unlike anything else, I feel, it's kind of like a go-kart. You feel every bump, you're completely in tune. You know, the earlier models have no power steering. You have to know what you're doing to shift the gearbox. It's just, you're part of the car. Starting it up in the morning, you know, it grunts, it groans. You kind of have to wake her up and it's just, driving the car is the experience. You don't need a destination to go to. You know, the Porsche 911 market currently is absolutely crazy. They are just on fire. You know, unfortunately, as the prices go up, you know, they become a little less realistic to the average buyer. In a way, that's kind of sad. I think for me, I'd love to see as many 911s stay in the hands of hobbyists just for the pure enjoyment. I love the odd color combinations and the rare option cars. And I think that's ultimately what's going to have the most value and the most joy in the future. The first new car that I remember my dad buying was a 1973 Nova Supersport. It was a 350, four speed, bucket seats, SS trim, stripes, SS wheels. It was cool. It was hot. It was about as good as it got for that year. That car was our family car. Matter of fact, that was our only car. Um, we'd go on trips, me and my sisters in the back, and we'd take enough stuff to go away for, for two weeks at a time. Um, but that car was one that, you know, I just remember the acceleration, the shifts, and the, the sound that that car made. It was, it was cool. One of the cool things I think about this business here at the GR Auto Gallery is the variety of vehicles that, uh, that we deal with on a daily basis. So a common question I get a lot is, hey John, what's your favorite car? You know, my favorite cars tend to change from time to time, week to week. Kind of depends what's in the room. You know, certain times I'm, I'm all European sports cars, other times heavy muscle cars, American classics. My flavor of the day today, I guess, would be this 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air. And that's one thing I really enjoy is just driving cars of all different kinds. And when you get a beautiful day, um, you kind of pick what you like for that day and, and you go out and drive it. You enjoy what that car has to offer. Having been involved in a number of custom builds, um, I do really appreciate quality, craftsmanship, execution of the restoration, making everything work and flow. This Bel Air definitely flows. Everything works together, the way it drives, the way it looks, the quality of the restoration, the paint, the mechanicals, it's, it's something where no detail is overlooked. It really, it gives back to the driver. 
GRR already started, you know, the three of us got together a long time ago and uh, wanted to come up with a new fun business. We had gone from a 7,000 square foot facility and moved into a 19,000 square foot facility. Uh, we had no problem filling that up pretty quick. Added on uh, with an extra building that gave us about another 6,000 square feet. And then from there, we have moved into this beautiful facility back in 2015 that we are currently in. And we have over 54,000 square feet of warehouse space that is dedicated solely to consigning customers' cars for their behalf and to get them top dollar for it. So it's been a very fun, exciting experience for our customers, our, ourselves as the owners, as well as our employees that are part of it. And uh, we continue to grow and we see no end in sight. Started off, like I said earlier, with uh, a Midwest and West Michigan base of clients, but that has grown from you know, cars coming in from California to New York, Texas, Florida, Illinois, all along the East Coast. And it's really proven our success and not only what we're capable of doing for customers, but what our name brand has developed. One of the cool stats that we can share is that we have placed a car on six of the seven continents throughout the world, as well as over a hundred different countries throughout. So it's a fun experience. We're constantly uh, meeting new customers throughout the world, as well as continuing to get repeat business from a lot of our clients overseas. And uh, it's been always a fun experience for not only ourselves to see the growth of the company, but also our salespeople that get a kick out of uh, working with clients throughout the world. You know, back when we first started, it was just the three of us, which was a fun experience. We could kind of do what we wanted and uh, have some fun with it. But uh, as we began to grow our business and realize what we were doing and the, the potential for it, we have been able to uh, grow into three different locations. We currently have 22 employees and we're on track to sell a bunch of cars this year. So it's a lot of fun and we're enjoying every aspect of it. So I think what's neat in our business is we have, we really have two customers. Unlike a typical car dealership or used car dealership where they have one customer, the customer they're trying to sell the vehicle to, we also have a consignment customer and that's really who we're representing. I look at our product as not as the vehicle, but our business model to help somebody sell the vehicle. That's really what our product is and that's really what we pride ourselves on bringing to our consignment customers is the fact that, as Chris mentioned, we sell cars on a national and international level with great success. On behalf of my business partners and myself, um, I really appreciate your business and I hope this Bel Air will go to a good home soon. We're extremely happy that we've been able to provide such a great service to our clients, but also very humbled by the amount of clients that we've been able to help out throughout the past seven plus years of doing our business. So we appreciate your business, we appreciate you continuing to put your trust into us, and we look forward to more, many more great times ahead. You know, we're really excited for what the future holds, you know, with our consignment business and that really being our product. We're looking to bring it into more markets. Uh, currently, we're hoping to launch another two to three stores throughout the U.S. within the next two to three years. And I think what's exciting about that is just the employees that we're going to be able to bring in, the future customers we're going to make, the future relationships we're going to bring, and just to be a really solid foundation in the classic car market.